Today we're going over the C-OHC-INUT. First thing you want to do with a panel removal tool is gently pry against the overhead console until you feel it snap. There are two hooks in the front, so you just want to swing it down as to not damage the factory hooks. Disconnect the two plugs and remove the overhead console from the vehicle. Once you have the console on a bench, you'll notice there are 10 T20 Torx fasteners around the perimeter of the assembly. This separates the two components of the Ford factory overhead console. So you want to go around and remove all 10 of those fasteners. Set them aside as you will be reusing them. Once you have all 10 fasteners removed, just lift up the back cover of the overhead console to separate the two pieces. The factory dome light section in the front is for the red dome light and it will not be used anymore so you simply unsnap that from the console. Place the back cover back onto the factory overhead console and reapply the six screws that were removed. Four screws will not be reused as they are for the factory dome light piece. Once you have everything back together you're going to take the main mounting bracket for the overhead console, hold it up to the roof brace keeping it centered in the opening, mark your four holes and then using a power drill and a 3 16th inch drill bit, you're going to want to drill out your four holes for your rivets. Take the overhead mounting bracket, push it back up to the headliner and lined up and centered. And using the supplied rivets, tighten to roof. Take the factory Ford overhead console. You may plug that back in. The dome light plug will not be used again, so you can push that towards the back of the headliner. Snap everything into place, and then you're going to want to take the Havis overhead console shroud, place it up to the roof, and using the supplied hardware attached to the main mounting bracket. Make sure you are using even and consistent pressure on the two fasteners. The overhead console uses all factory Havis uh, equipment brackets, so you are able to take your Whalen CENCOM or Federal Signal Control Ed, Code 3, Sound Off, use a standard Havis equipment bracket, place it into the overhead console, tighten using the supplied Torx screws, and you're all set. Mm -hmm.